Hi guys, um, today I show you how to fix the display setup on the Sharpin King 4K. The first thing you want to check is if all displays are connected the right way like shown in the manual, of course. But I say it again because it happens, it also happened to me, so please check it. The second important thing is to check if every display is turned on and powered on. Not only powered on, really turned on. So check this as well. The display must be turned on. I say it again because um, this often happens and if not all three displays are turned on before you start the PC, that's very important, the display setup will get mixed up. So check this. You only need to check this once at first, after that it will stay the same. So if you check this and still have mixed displays, I show you how to fix it. The first thing we want to uh, do is to check if our play field, in my case this little guy, um, is the primary screen. And if all screens are in the correct order, in the Windows setup. So to do this, right click on the desktop and choose display settings. Now you will see, of course, the display settings. At first you want to check the correct order. Um, for this we identify our screens. Click identify 312. Okay. So our play field must be the first one. Be careful, they have to be aligned on the top here. In your case, the play field will be a much, much bigger because you have a 4K, 4K screen. And for the demo here, I am using a full HD screen. So the first is the play field, then the back glass, and then the DMD. All three have to be aligned on the top. This is very important. So the numbers doesn't have to, to fit. Yeah? The play field can have number two or number one. That's not really important. Important is the order. Play field, back class, DMD. Okay. Then you check if the play field is the primary screen. Scroll down. The play field must be blue, select it, scroll down. Use this monitor display as primary screen. It's checked already, but if in your case it's not checked, make sure you check this for the play field. Okay, we can leave this now. So the next thing it's pretty easy. You can now um, rearrange the windows. We are using Pinball Epsilon and I show you the easy setup. You can click anywhere on the Pinball Epsilon uh, screen, either Playfield, DMD or Backclass with the right mouse and get a context menu. Full screen, you can exit full screen, you can rotate the image, you can show DMD, show back glass, and you can hide the back glass and hide the DMD. That's maybe uh, what you want to do if they are mixed up and you can touch them, then you hide them first and bring them back up again. So, um, the main thing we want to do here, I, I changed the play field to windowed mode. So I can drag it around. Yeah? I just drag it. Oh, sorry, I just drag it to the screen it belongs. Sorry, it's now on the DMD, but no problem. I grab it again. Oh, and now it's here on the correct screen. I press right 
and say full screen. Okay, voila. First display is correct. So now I go back to the back glass, right click. Oh, sorry. Of course, right click on the window screen won't um, have any effect. So I have to go back to the play field. Right click, show back glass. It pops up, but it's it's not fitting um, perfectly. So right click, um, show window borders. See, now I can drag it again. Right click, full screen, and now it fits perfectly. So last thing, I press right. Where is my mouse here? Uh, oh, where's the DMD? I cannot find it, so maybe I have to click on the play field for this. Back on the play field. Yeah, so obviously you have to um, make the main settings on the play field. So show DMD. Now the DMD pops up on the wrong place, but no problem, as you know, right click. Uh, let's try full screen. Okay, now it's here. That's a little, a little bit odd, but you know what to do. Bring back, bring it back here, back here, and drag it just to the DMD. Last thing, right click, full screen. And there we have it. Everything is aligned now.